in 1939, a city is born. Garden City is home, has been home, and always will be home for me. And a promise is made. I married a Garden City girl. She became forever a part of my heart. Garden City, forever a part of my heart. A place where integrity reigns daily. Garden City's foundation starts right there with all of the people. An oasis where families flourish. It's a good community to live in, a good community to raise a family in. A devotion to faith that fills our hearts. The tradition has been uh, based on the faith and activities of the church leadership. A community where volunteers are plentiful. This is my city, you know, right? I contribute something if it was just a few hours of volunteer work. And the history of its heritage is full of plenty. Well, one of the best things about Garden City right now is that not only do the people who are working to improve Garden City have an eye on the future, they've also got an eye on the past. Proud to be a port city, but defined by so much more. Everybody, when they think of uh, Garden City, they think there's rough, industrial, uh, trucks, and a port, but there's also a soft side of Garden City. And more is exactly what the future is affirming. Uh, but we've created a new Garden City, and I see Garden City blossoming into the, the most advanced, innovative city um, anywhere in the world. Welcome to the city of Garden City. The camaraderie, the neighbors, uh, everyone willing to help each other, everyone working together for a common goal. We just don't see that a lot anymore. My favorite thing about Garden City is the people, really. The people in Garden City is my family. They're part of my family. Long recognized as a special coastal community, rich in the knowledge that sustained economic progress, smart planning, and clear vision are key components to its future growth. Garden City is once again rising for its citizens and to its future. When a city continues to stand for the ideals, the virtues, and the values upon which it was founded, standing for it is just as easy as standing behind it. And so it is an historic time that you are about to witness. Garden City, the year 2009 reaffirming its commitment to honoring what its forefathers had originally sought. Faith. Fairness. Family. Freedom. And its future. The new official seal of Garden City reflects what it promises and has promised for the past 70 years. Garden City embraces the challenges of this modern world and is building a future rooted in smart thinking, decisive action, and everyone moving forward. With its newly redesigned and relocated City Hall, the heartbeat of its people. The new city hall, the new town center, which will be a new lifeblood for them in an area where there can be residential growth. It continues to ensure the highest level of fairness, protection, and freedom anywhere in the Southeast. To set the proper example of good conduct, be on the job, be concerned, Garden City is truly growing. If you want convenience, a tax-free lifestyle, only a stone's throw away from the historic district, then you belong here. All of these elements have come together to provide a vibrant new Garden City destination that honors the city's rich heritage. I don't care how long I live. Garden City always be home with me. 
embraces its long-term residents and businesses. Because it's such a sense of community, I believe, in Garden City, that we just don't get anywhere else. Well assured that if your city is not planning for the future, the future will come without plans. But with a progressive group of leaders that we have there today, they're planning for a bright, successful future. They're not reacting to the future. And opens new pathways to success and prosperity. If I was a new business owner and I was looking for a town that wanted to work with me and grow, one of the first places I would go is Garden City. I'm a product of Garden City, and that will never change. And my pride in that will always be there. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, it's always Garden City. As I told the Speaker of the House and the Governor back in the 1980s when I was elected to the General Assembly, they wanted to call me the gentleman from Savannah. I said, sorry guys. I mean, the gentleman, well, jury's still out on that. But if you're going to use that term, it's the gentleman from Garden City. I was proud of it. You ought to be proud of it and even more when you see what she can become. Garden City, courageously moving forward, diligently working harder, boldly reaching higher, and undeniably reclaiming its position as a visionary community. Garden City, you belong here.